So the hip hop community is in shock over the sudden death of Fat Man Scoop, the legendary rapper and hype man who tragically passed away on stage during a recent performance. Now, born Isaac Freeman III, Fat Man Scoop was celebrated for his hit, Single Be Faithful, and numerous collaborations with other artists. His high energy performances and infectious enthusiasm made him a beloved figure in the music industry. The news of his untimely passing has sent shockwaves through the community, with fans and fellow artists expressing their disbelief and sorrow. Fat Man Scoop's family has released an official statement expressing their grief over his passing. It is with profound sadness and heavy hearts that we share the news of the passing of the legendary and iconic Fat Man Scoop. Last night, the world lost a radiant soul, a beacon of light both on stage and in life. Fat Man Scoop was not just a world-class performer, he was a father, brother, uncle, and friend. He brought laughter to our lives and was a constant source of support, unwavering strength, and courage. Known to the world as the undisputed voice of the club, his music made us dance and embrace life with positivity. His joy was infectious, and the generosity he extended to all will be deeply missed, but never forgotten. As we mourn the loss of Fat Man Scoop, we also celebrate his remarkable life and the countless lives he touched. Fat Man Scoop's legacy of love and brightness will reside in our hearts and memories forever. Now here is the last video of Fat Man Scoop before his death, where he opened up about his health struggles, which he was optimistic about getting better through treatment and wanted to let his fans know he was fighting hard. What's up everybody, how y'all feel? What is going on? What is happening? What is cracking? Um, how y'all feeling? What y'all doing? What's popping? All right, Roxy Lady Lounge, how are you feeling? The guy who what love pizza? I don't know about what what guy love pizza, but if you love pizza, I love pizza too. Hold on one second. Hey, give me give me a second to get this together. How y'all feeling today? What's what's going on? Oh man, yes. Brian Glaze Gibbs, how you feeling? Um, basically, I had to get an emergency surgery on my toe. So, um, if any of y'all look at my my lives, you, I mean, not not my lives, but my um, blog posts. When I went to Singapore, I had to come to New York and get my toe shaved down for get the, the ulcer fixed. And um, part, you know, they had to shave it down. And fix it and then I went off to um, Singapore and did what I had to do but the reality of the situation was I was on that foot way longer than I was supposed to you know trying to pay off bills and do things and get right and stuff like that and it caught up to me and um, I went to see my doctor Dr. Emilio Puzo and my, my doctor Dr. Puzo he's not only my doctor, but he's like my friend too, literally, legit. Like, I, I love him, like he's my guy. To the point where he's like, yo, I'll come pick you up from the hospital, I'll take you home, you can stay with me. Like that kind of, like that kind of friend. And, um, you know, he looked at the, he looked at the, he looked at the um, toe and he was like, look bro, here's the deal. I was in Dubai last Thursday and he's, he's, you know, I went, I went on Wednesday before I took off and I landed in Dubai on Thursday. When I went to his office, I took, um, I took, um, x-rays and he called me when I was in Dubai. He was like, yo, listen, bro, where are you? I said, I'm in Dubai. He said, listen, man, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm going to make it very simple for you right now. You don't even go home. Come right to the, go right to the emergency room, admit yourself and show them what's happening because he took a he took a um an x-ray and basically what it was was i had a big infection in my toe and it was so bad that they could have taken my toe off so it's like all right cool now i'm over in dubai worrying my ass off i'm like yo man you know, what part of the game is this i can't perform with with missing toes like you can't do that i run around i jump i do my thing like there's no way that i can do that and um, I actually went home on the Sunday because I told him, I said, yo, bro, I have no clothes. I have no nothing. He said, man, go home on Sunday, but be on the first thing smoking to New York on Monday. So I did that and I got here 
and I went into the, you know, I admitted myself into the emergency room. My ex-wife, Dana, drove, the mother of my kids drove me to um, the hospital. And I'm not a hospital guy because I know that hospital equals pain. And I'm not a, I'm not a needle guy. So anything with needles mess with me. So when you're in here, you number one, you got to get an IV. That shit hurts. It, it, that hurts because it's in there and it's it, it's not temporary. Then you got to get blood drawn every every day, sometimes twice a day. And I was getting you know, I was getting my you know like you know the people were busting here three o'clock in the morning. Shit like one time all day, man. Like motherfuckers busting in at three o'clock in the morning, turn the lights on. Yo, give me blood. I'm like yo, y'all got to give me 15, 20 minutes to get ready, get my mind right for that. And one thing I learned when I had COVID, I got stuck so much with the with the the insulin, and then I then I got the 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 insulin, and then I got the the blood drawn, and I eventually got I eventually got okay with needles. So now when I get a blood drawn, I just look at it like this. It's a pinch. D nice was good, bro. I want to talk to you. Please DM me. I want I want to pop through one of those club quarantines, bro. I want to just come through there and just bass drop, and just get it in. Um so so um I mean, now I'm now I'm to the point where when they take the blood, I'm like I used to fall out, roll on the floor. I want my mommy. I, 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 I was with all that shit. I, I wanted everything. Now I'm just like, ugh, it's annoying. It's a pinch. It's a pinch. And then I get it over with. But man, it was bad for me when I was afraid of needles like that. Um, um, I'm in the hospital where I've been. I was so, they gave me Percocet. And I was so high. People were telling me I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Like, I don't even know what the hell. Listen, I might have told somebody, you know, I don't know what the fuck I said. So whatever I said when under the influence of Percocet, forget it. Um, they're doing something with me now. That's why I got the gown on. They're going to do something with me. And then um, I, got a, I got a day or two more and then I'm good. Or maybe not. I might be able to, I might be be able to pop out. I'm, I'm waiting to see what the results are. They got one more test to do. Then I'm waiting to see what the results are. I could be out tonight, or I could be out on Sunday. So it's all based on what the what the results are. It, it is what it is. Um, DMT walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T walk is my dude. It's so funny. It's so funny because I had meetings in Tampa, Florida. I mean, in um, Orlando on the 27th. I went to go see my man Rav, and then on the 28th, I was supposed to go down to Miami to see um, T-Walk, and I couldn't do it because, of course, I had to get the emergency surgery, so next time I'm out in Florida, I'm going to go check my dude. Live, where in the hell is my damn, oh, where it is, what's, what's happening, Marley Kudo, how are you feeling, King Prince 777 t Nice, how are you feeling? Um, everybody hopping in, how y'all doing? Mike Bond, yes, sir, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Coop, how are you feeling, sir? Uh, today, sir, there's a conversation I need to have with you, sir. Uh, after, after this, uh, after this, please get back to me, sir. Our uh, Radio ATN, I'm going on on a staggered schedule when I get back to a certain point I'll come on your show um so here's my deal I'm gonna hop on probably Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays for another week or so and then uh hi Adrian love Jason your song is good um once I do that then I'll do about a week or two of that and then I'll come back regular days um, and then the only time that I'm going to break off is when I go to study for my um, CDL license because I want to get that before I start with this trucking situation, so I'll do that. Um, so that's it. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Alicia. How are you feeling? Shock music, all you guys. So listen, if you want to donate, you can. There's three types of badges, um, one, two, and three hearts. Do whatever you like. It's only going to the show and... Um, 
ads and stuff like that. I will say this, when I got sick, I had to use it to pay for medication, but I'll put the money back at some point. Um, okay, go live. So, so, that is my thing right there. So I'm only, I'm only gonna deal with, today is about, um, and I'll shout out everybody who bought a badge, my man Mike Bond, Mr. Pierce 1026, everybody who's showing love, I'll definitely hit you up in a minute and acknowledge you. Today is about, and everybody's been asking me how my health has been. And, you know, for me, I don't want to keep answering people here and there and all that kind of stuff. I'd rather just make one across the board statement. And that's it. The Rose Jolie, thank you very much. I am Step Riley, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Let's start here. Here's some here's some observations about. Let me just start by telling you my story. Um, probably about April 5th, I got I got sick. Um, you don't know when it comes, you can have a negative test, you can have false positives. It's a bunch of different things that I learned. You can take a test and it should have say negative and you can come back three days later and it should is positive um thank you francine's uh, dream cream faces makeup thank you very much uh faces by pureness you know i love you um so all of that makes no difference i got sick on like the 5th of april so i'm sitting here at this chair like six o'clock in the morning and I start fucking coughing. And I'm like, <coughs> the fuck am I coughing for? And I'm just like, <coughs> just, and it's going on and on. So I'm like, wait up, hold on, man. I know I ain't got no. I just came from North Carolina where I was in an event and I had a mask on, but then there was a point I was taking pictures, I had to take the mask off. And um, I was in the club in Charlotte, in Charlotte, North Carolina. But who knows where it came from? It's not about where it came from. It's about your body being prepared to fight it. I always said that. Thank you very much, Miss Billy. I appreciate it. So, um, again, I never said that I couldn't get it. I just said I want my body to be in the best position to fight it. So, um, here I go. And... I'm in this chair because I'm working here doing something and I'm coughing. I'm like, Yo, what the f am I coughing? <coughs> and it just kept, it was like a dry ass cough in my throat. So I went and got some ignorance juice and shit. I went and grabbed some ignorance juice. So I was like, mm -hmm. trying to wash it down and shit. But it kept coming. And um, this, this shit is weird. But in the back of my mind, I'm saying it because the coffin and the coffin and the coffin. So I go downstairs and you know, everything is cool that day, but at the end of the day, I start getting slow. So now I'm getting slow. Rub out of your bass, what's up? Miss Premium, how you feeling? Um, I start getting slow. So I wake up the next morning and I got a little fever and shit. So I'm like, oh shit, the right? But the whole weekend, Charlotte, Raleigh, I'm still drinking my juices, I'm taking my supplements, so I'm not worrying about it. I'm like, I'm good. I get this heavy ass fever, like 101, but the shit is gone. It's gone in I wouldn't even say a day. It's gone in like 16 hours, right? So I'm saying to myself, I'm good, right? So good, cool, whatever. I'm now I'm saying, now I'm telling you, I beat. So I said, yo, I'm telling my man, yo, I got a fever. I was coughing and shit, but I beat. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But now I'm starting to get slow. 
So I hit y'all and I say, listen, because I don't really want people in my business, but at the same time, my whole shit is about transparency. But for I only did that because I had shows coming the next week. I didn't, I thought that I would be able to beat the and I still be able to go to the shows. So I didn't want to tell nobody that I had legit. So I said, yo, man, I got um something called cellulitis, which is what I get. When you eat a little loosey goosey and you eat too much uh, uh, sugar and stuff like that, um, you can get like a, what feels like a blood clot in your leg. It's very hot, but it's not a blood clot. It's something called cellulitis. It blows your leg up. And when you get it, it's like an infection. When you get an infection, your body goes into a, a state of pneumonia. So your body show, slows down and shit. And you go into like what it would feel like to be in pneumonia. And that's how cellulitis is. Partially I'm thinking in my mind, maybe it's not, but maybe it's the cellulitis because my leg was warm. Um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think it's, but I'm not sure, but I think it could also be cellulitis because I had the thing in my leg. So I get on, I get on Instagram and I say, yo, listen, man, I'm okay. I said, I'm going to say cellulitis so that if I beat this shit and it's not, or it's not, I can still go out and do my shit the next weekend. I had a show in DC and I had a show in Austin, Texas. First shows that I really have coming back. All right, cool. So I say cellulitis. Somebody says on that post, cause DMX had, DMX had just, and Black Rob, they had had a picture. I don't know if you had watched it, but they had a picture of Black Rob. And he was like, he was like in a hospital gown. He's like, and somebody left on my post, you know, in threes. And I had to say that in, like I replied, no, no, somebody left in the previous post. And I replied in that post, I was like, yo, miss me with that energy, bro.